Hey, what's happening guys? Thanks so much for looking in. Hope you're doing good today. I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. So I thought I'd bring you with me. Um, changed cars now. I haven't done a video in the car for a while because the old car just wasn't doing it anymore, sadly. So it uh, took a little bit of time, but I got something new here. There we go. Not the prettiest day here in uh, West Wales, UK today. It's been raining a lot. It's not raining now. But, so there you go. Whenever it's raining, whenever it's winter, something better is coming. <laughs> I have to think of something else to say in summer. But there's always something good coming. I'm sure of that. So I'm going to pull some cards shortly. But first of all, I just thought I'd bring you with me. This is uh, it's a new car to me. It's quite an old SUV. It's a Nissan. It's a cash car, or quash quai. Don't know if you guys know what that is in the States. Maybe they brought something else out, but uh, I'm loving it really. You know, it's it's pretty old, but it's pretty good. And uh, it's handling my lane at last. I prayed for a long time for something that could handle my lane. I just uh, hope it keeps on doing that. So let's take a look out the front. And there you go, you can see it's not a really sunny day here. In fact, it's not a sunny day at all. So uh, this is what we're about, this is what I'm all about, being here, it's a blessing, it's kind of where I was led to, it's where I was brought to, it's got its good points, it's got its bad points, but uh, generally speaking, it's a pretty happy place, <laughs> I know it probably doesn't look it, but you can see nature all around, and uh, everything that's missing leaves, everything that's looking dead, is actually very much alive, and um, I'm recording this early February 2021, so uh, just two or three weeks we'll be able to see buds on these trees. Maybe 10 weeks or so we'll be able to see the leaves coming and uh, that time's gonna pass quicker than any of us can possibly imagine. So it's a time of renewal, really. And renewal is what it's all about in so many ways. Life is always changing. We always know something tomorrow that we didn't know today and we always learned that something today and I can't honestly say you know the good times always keep coming it's not all brilliantly good that's for sure plenty of darkness around but if it wasn't for darkness we wouldn't know what light was that's the important thing about it really so I guess lots of us in the Northern Hemisphere now are starting to talk about Seasonal Affective Disorder, SAD, SAD. And, um, you know, that, that's a real thing. But uh, most of us who complain about it haven't actually got the illness SAD, as it were. It's just how it feels. And uh, we've got to be thankful for everything we've got, really. See, there's still a lot of green in this picture. There's some evergreen trees, there's ferns, there's stuff. You know, I mean, ferns go back, way back into prehistoric times. Ferns were an old thing when the dinosaurs were around, for sure. There you go, so I've got windscreen wipers. How cool is that? So it seems like a good day to talk about uh, the inner you, the inner me, the inner human psyche. I just watched a movie called uh, The Circle. If you've seen it, you perhaps know where I'm coming from with this. It's a world where they have something called transparency, which like, means everyone can see everything you do. These people wear a camera with a microphone all day and all night. There's no privacy. Kind of like the big, the, yeah, the Big Brother TV show. And I'm not a big brother, I'm a twig brother. That's, that's what I'm all about. <laughs> I'd rather be related to twigs than be that, you know, big brother all seeing eye thing. And uh, yet I'm very happy to work on the internet. Um, and I guess as much as anything, that's because the way things are now, I can still choose what I want to put out and what I don't want to put out. 
But I'm kind of always happy to share the journey with you guys, that's the thing. But the other thing is, if I didn't sometimes go inside myself, if I didn't sometimes uh, have that kind of introspective time, uh, it's kind of like meditation, you know, the, the ideas wouldn't come, the inspiration probably find me somehow, but I'm sure it would take a lot longer to find me uh, if, I, if I didn't take some time to meditate. So it's always worth taking that look inwards. Right now I'm going out just to have a drive around and see what the outside world has got to offer. Actually, no, let's go that way. I'm hoping it's got a bag of sticks to offer today. Because all my kindling wood is soaked through because it's been raining a lot. And uh, I prefer to chop sticks up myself to light the fires with because I, I have solid fuel heating. Natural, really natural. Um, but when they're all soaked, there's no point in them. All my outside logs are absolutely soaked through. So I'm going to need some nice dry kindling to get the fire going. That's what it's all about. That's what I'm all about today. So I am going down to the shops. So we'll wait and wait. There's a tractor coming. Nice and slow. There it goes. <laughs> Let the traffic pass and we'll get on our way. And that's one of the great things of the inner life, friends. You let the traffic pass. Sometimes in the tarot we get cards telling us, um, well, like the Knight of Wands, for example. Uh, you know, there's a journey going on. We can either jo join in with that journey, or we can, you know, we can accept that there's a cycle and we'll get another chance to join in with that journey a bit further down the line. And there's always a choice, you know? But it's very easy to get caught up in everyday life stuff that just keeps you going, keeps driving you forward without thinking. Like when I joined the... Uh, I was in the Air Force a long time ago when I was young. And uh, when I joined the Air Force, they kept us busy for 18 hours a day. So there wasn't time to kind of think about anything. We just had to get on with what we were being trained to do. And in the military, I can, I can see why that was, you know. I, I didn't object to it, it worked for me. And uh, that's just the way things needed to be then, at that time. But the important thing about the spiritual life is, I mean, sure, you, you're never in 100% control of it because it's all about spirit guides, guardians, gatekeepers, angels. And uh, they've got a plan for us, and it's a very loving plan. A plan that carries us through our life, and if we keep listening to them, it gives us the best of everything, and it allows us to give out the best of everything um, as well. You know, it's a flow, and it flows through us. Because really all humanity is one. This thing of uh, individual people, it's part of the way we live our lives, and we've all got to make the best of it, and not everybody does. And that's a shame for them. But the truth is, it's there to make the best of. And that's why we, we all see ourselves as individuals. There's all different strengths, different things we can do. It's all good. But we are all part of the whole thing, you know? And when we do some meditation, when we get that little bit introspective, it brings out the best. It, it makes us aware of things that could be better. It makes us aware of things that could be worse as well things that we can be thankful that, you know, life is better than it could be. Not a bad thing. Oh, it's raining good now. <laughs> One thing you can say in this country of Wales, in Welsh, Burum Line, rain is coming. Because if it's not raining now, it soon will be. <laughs> the other side of that is, We've got a wonderful amount of drinking water, constant supply of it. The reservoirs virtually never dry up. So that's all good. There's a sign, welcome to Flanders Hill. It's 
slow down a bit now. And yeah, it's all about slowing down that I want to really get into today and talk about. Because uh, the human mind and the body and the heart, the heart that beats within us, has a range, you know, it can beat fast when we've got to I don't know, maybe escape from danger or just, you know, get something done quick. Get something done in a hurry, we all have to do that sometimes. And by meditating, we can slow the heartbeat down. And then we're much more in ourselves, you know, we're, we're in the moment. I guess that's called mindfulness now. And there's lots of uh, mindfulness gurus out there who 10 years ago were gurus of something else. <laughs> so I'm glad I've been on this spiritual path for as long as I have. Because uh, I reckon it allows me to talk about that a bit. <laughs> right, that's that done. Got my little bit of shopping, something extra for tea. And, uh, sticks as well so that's coolio. Right let's drive around here a bit so I can find somewhere we can stop and uh, we'll do a bit of a reading then see what comes out. We've got Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Light with me in the car here. I'm not going to read them while I'm driving for uh, very obvious reasons <laughs> but we'll find somewhere nice and idyllic to stop. Everywhere's nice and idyllic around here actually right into the uh, the old part of the countryside. Part of it that hasn't changed for so long. That little house there looks really new, but uh, it's been there a long, long time. They took it apart and rebuilt it with the same old stones. So there we go, we're across the river. Let's go up the hill. green absolutely everywhere and it really isn't springtime yet so this is great to see it's always alive something is always going on with nature and something is always going on in human nature as well um, lots of restrictions on people at the moment obviously but people inside themselves people in their hearts and minds keep going um, even if it's just kind of watching the internet you know, it's keeping the mind alive, it's learning something, it's something new happening all the time. And there's quite a lot going on out there in the real world as well. If you can call it the real world. <laughs> I subscribe to that view of things that the, uh, the Aboriginal Australians have, that uh, the dream time, you know, when we dream that's what's real. And when we're awake it's this kind of crazy illusion because <laughs> this is the world that our eternal souls have been plunged into and we must somehow make the most of it and I do believe there's a place to stop very near yeah here we are let's pull in here do ourselves a little reading So, it's Mercury retrograde right now. If you saw the live last night, I was talking about that. And some of this as well, actually, on the live video. Do hit the subscribe button, by the way, guys, because uh, not only does it help the channel, kind of shows the algorithm that people still like psychic stuff in the broader sense, you know, and it's important to send that message to that crazy robot psycho algorithm that runs YouTube. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, Mercury retrograde. Um, I'm not at all surprised to find myself in a car that I didn't think I'd have one week ago in Mercury retrograde because it's very often something that plays out in travel and transport with me. So, Keepers of the Light. Beautiful image on the back of these cards. Look at that. Vesica Pisces. Kind of three different levels of Vesica Pisces there, actually. And uh, very meaningful, you know, because cards like this are all about sort of bringing the inner you out, the um, the spiritual you, you know, uh, the you that maybe doesn't hide from the world. I'm not saying that, but the, the part of you that kind of uh, in space and time is generally speaking disregarded by a lot of people. 
And uh, that, that really is like giving birth to something. It's the process of life to actually bring these things out and make them real. Okay, so what have we got? I'm going to do three cards from this deck. Um, first card out that we have... Odin, Psychic Insight. Great stuff. Psychic Insight, very much what life is all about, actually, as I've just been saying. It says on this card, your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. Let me bring that up close so you can, you can read it. Your third eye is open. See the truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. And uh, Odin is a great warrior figure, actually, in uh, in pagan mythology and in the pagan legends. And uh, he was a real character, actually. I'm, I'm sure he had a real human life. And when I talk about myths and legends, I, I don't mean like he's a, a total myth, just a story someone made up. And he's actually very big in these parts. Um, if I turn the camera around a bit, you can see we're, we're right deep in the thick of the countryside here. In fact, let's leave it that way for a little bit so you can see that side of things as well. Um, and Odin is a kind of a warlike figure, really. Um, not entirely hostile. You know, that there's a lot of love there, obviously, as there always is when we're dealing with people in the spirit realms. Uh, but when he lived this life, he was something of a warrior who fought for the right things, you know, who fought to try and make things as good as possible just for kind of ordinary people for the average sid as it were for you and for me car's getting steamed up a bit let me just drop this window there just a bit there so i can keep the outside world at bay and still breathe which is nice so he's t he's telling you your third eye is open and quite honestly if you're interested in videos like this i should think your third eye is very much open um do leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think about that. And actually, very often in the comments, I hear from people whose third eye is clearly open and they're just kind of wondering, is it? You know, do they have spirit guides? Do they have uh, communicators on the other side? And the answer really is yes, because we all do. But um, actually communicating with them is something of a choice. You know, we don't have to listen to them. It's just much better if we do, to be quite honest. So, you know, you do have a third eye. We've all got one. Um, there's been a lot said about fluoride in water, that kind of thing, which can take a great deal uh, away from the way the third eye operates because it calcifies the, the pineal gland, the pineal gland, which, whichever way you, uh, you want to pronounce that. Um, but the third eye, right up here, the forehead chakra, which is indigo in colour, is looking back and uh, it's actually looking back in love you know it's not like being inspected by um I, I can't think of a way of putting it but it's you know it's not like an army inspection or anything like that it's actually looking back in love and uh, the pineal gland is very very closely associated with spiritual vision and uh, I once heard a, a scientist talking, very strict scientist who didn't believe in spiritual things at all, but he was just kind of thinking aloud. And he said, um, if there was a God, and if I was the God, I'd, I'd put a little transmitter into the human brain when I created the human brain so I could talk to people. And I think he hit the spot there, actually. And uh, I hope by now, actually, that scientist has come to believe in the divine because it is a real thing. And I think the divine was kind of dancing around him at that very moment, giving him that thought because it's a true thing. So... The world is always trying to cloud the pineal gland one way or another. You know, uh, if you really want to succeed in the workplace, it's usually better not to talk about spiritual things. I'm very lucky that my job is spiritual things, so I can talk about them all the time. But it's something that the world likes us to keep quiet, if we possibly can. You know, it's uh, it's unfortunate. Some of us who, who are gifted, and, you know, I'm, I'm, in, I'm including you guys in that. Uh, we'll have families who don't, you know, who wish we were different, who wish we were... No, 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 they don't wish we were different. They wish we were ordinary. They wish we were normal, as they see it. And um, that's a one-way ticket to nowhere, to be quite honest, because once you've got this knowledge, you can't switch it off. But um, the overall theme of what I'm trying to talk about today is that inner life, and uh, we have to sort of go inside, go within ourselves to find it. And uh, this really is how the third eye works. It actually looks within us, 
It does the hermit thing all by itself. So that's part of Odin's message. The rest of it, see truth for what it is, follow your intuition. And those things both go very closely together, friends. They, uh, <coughs> excuse me, they're, they're really closely linked. Because um, following your intuition is always going to show you the truth for what it is. You're going to see past the, well, the lies for sure, but not, not always lies, just the, you know, the kind of the hidden secrets of this world. Not all secrets are lies. It's not the same thing. But hidden things, you know, lies are about hidden things. Things the world tries to keep secret are hidden things. And I'm sure our governments actually know a lot more about what we're talking about as spirituality uh, than they let on. For example, there's a guy called, I think his name is Richard Allen Miller, who I've heard talking, and uh, he was involved with training the Marines at some point, I think, in uh, the time of the Vietnam War. And uh, they trained Marines to meditate if they were stuck in a foxhole somewhere and they, they kind of couldn't get out without losing their lives. He, he trained them to meditate and they would find a way out, you know. It actually really worked. So the military is using meditation. It's using psychicness. It's acknowledged very quietly on the inside of the Pentagon and, uh, you know, uh, Whitehall in Britain. Uh, anywhere to do with military action, it's acknowledged that the third eye is a thing, you know. It certainly is a thing. Anyway, following on from that, card number two, Melchizedek. Higher learning. And uh, he's saying, let me bring it up here close. You have learned from experience. More inner study is now... I can't read it backwards, sorry. More inner study is now required to further progress. Okay, so further your progress. Get within yourselves. Do that inner study thing if you possibly can, friends. And uh, if you think you can't, you really can, okay? The thing about Mel Melchizedek is he he's very closely linked to the law of attraction, actually. And that is a very... Um, very much a combination of, of the human mind mental effort and uh, what we actually link into, what the universe is all about for us, you know. And uh, he's a big part of linking that. So that's his message, you know. More inner study is now required to further progress. Because, as he says, first of all, you have learned from experience. And I'm sure you wouldn't be giving me the time of day if you hadn't had some kind of psychic experience that kind of suggests to you that some of this at least might be real, even if you're not an absolute believer. And uh, this channel and everything I do is not about trying to, you know, make people believe stuff they don't already believe. Um, a thing that I love about spiritualism, which I would say is my religion if I had one, um, is that we never try and convert people to it. We believe that people will find us if they were meant to. So as you've discovered this channel friends that this is what it's all about you know um and it, it, it's really for you to decide what you think what you feel it's all about i'm all about whatever you're all about as a spiritual sort of person that's what it means but melchizedek a higher learning this is um ties in with the idea of the uh, the soul star chakra we have uh, seven main chakras within the body there are, there are like thousand maybe millions of chakras within the body there's one in every cell almost we've got ear chakras that we can work on for example if we're studying clear audience but we sum them up with the seven main chakras which link to all the other ones um which are within the body and then down beneath our feet we've got the earth star chakra and up above our head we've got the soul star chakra and that is where we link to the higher stuff that the universe that our guardians our guides our angels our gatekeepers can actually filter through to us superhuman knowledge and we have to let it trickle in gently and that's why it's a lifelong thing really i don't think we ever stop learning i think if we ever reached the point where we knew as much as we, we could ever possibly know i think the human body would die then that's just my guess okay i don't know that for real for goodness sake, don't let it worry you, whatever happens. But uh, that higher learning, that's what happens when you link to the soul star chakra, okay? And uh, it's very much like following your own inner north star. We talk about the north node in astrology. Everybody's got one. Do get a birth chart done, friends, if you haven't yet. Uh, I will do one for a small fee for you, but you can get a free one from all the big uh, astrology websites, um, actually. 
So find out where that North Node is, because that's all about where you're going in life, what you're going to learn. And that, really, everything you learn in life is closely tied up to the universal knowledge which made you, which made me, which put this planet here in the first place. And, uh, you know, a lot of scientists would take issue with that as well. But, you know, ask them, where did the Earth actually come from? You know, and as, as I very often say in my videos, actually, even if there was nothing here, no world, why would there even be such a concept as nothing if there wasn't some kind of divine plan behind it? Hmm? So there you go, Melchizedek, higher learning. And uh, a lot of sort of looking inside yourself really helps you to link to that higher learning. It really does. Card number three, Paul the Venetian. There he is. I'm going to read the card, then show it to you. Experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. And so this is all, you know, it's all about the inner journey. That is how our spirit people actually get these gifts to us, by communication, by making us aware of things, by making us aware of each other, actually, too. That's all a big, big part of it. Now, Paul the Venetian very amazing ascended master he uh, actually lived a life i don't think he actually came from venice but he lived in venice for a lot of his life and studied art there so he is very artistic and anything to do with art is about bringing stuff from the subconscious mind out into the real world as a picture as a piece of music as a poem as you know as making something whatever it starts as an idea in your head and it becomes a real thing and so share those gifts friends okay you might have to look deep within yourself to actually decide what it is you want to uh, to share but it's always worth sharing if you think of a thing like karaoke, uh, okay, you get people who aren't trained singers and who aren't putting themselves out there as a great singer will get up and hold the mic and sing. And it quite often doesn't sound as good as, well, it's, it's, it's never going to sound as good really as something that's been very carefully produced in a studio. But um, it depends what you call good, I suppose. I think what's really good is when it's just a human being singing out. And the fact is it's popular. People have fun with it. People have a laugh with it. With it but the fact is it's popular and that really is what matters okay um so even if that wave of inspiration is someone else's song that they wrote and that means something to you sing it out or just kind of you know play it on your stereo stream it through your tablet or your phone or whatever but uh keep that music flowing keep that music real Okay, so Paul the Venetian, there we go, experiencing grace. We're experiencing it all the time, friends. That's how it works, and that is how we live. So there we go, that's our three cards for today. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of it. I'm going to put my seatbelt on now. We'll do just a little bit more country driving before we draw things to a close. And before we draw things to a close... Guys, if you'd like to see some more of the country scenes from around here and sort of my life, my chickens, my cats, various things that go on, take a look at my coffee page. It's uh, ko-fi.com forward slash Andy's readings, all one word, no apostrophe. It's important that I'm going to have to change the title because there's someone else called Andy's Readings on coffee. So no apostrophe, all one word. That's the way to do it. And uh, you can check out all the pictures that I post on there which I hope you'll enjoy seeing. And you can buy me a coffee or buy the channel a coffee if you like. And uh, that is always greatly, greatly appreciated, uh, actually, because uh, I don't have my YouTube channel monetized. I would like to avoid monetizing it, actually, because I don't really want to have a lot of advertising on there. Because um, half the time, well, most of the time, actually, it's advertising something that I might not, you know, disapprove of, but it's just kind of irrelevant. You know, you're watching a spiritual video and someone pops up and says, hey, you know, have you thought about buying this powerful new telescope or have you paid for your funeral yet? Stuff like, you know, stuff that we just, I, I just don't want that to be part of what I'm doing here, to be quite honest. So I'd love to avoid monetizing the channel. So if you guys can find it in your heart to donate, either through the donate button on my channel page or uh, the coffee page, and there's a link down below in the description to this video uh, which will take you straight to the coffee page you don't have to donate to look at coffee it's just that if you go there you then get a chance to donate and that all really helps but uh, there we go I've said my little piece there let's do some more driving I'm grateful and delighted to have this new car 
Well, it's an SUV, but it, it feels like a car. You drive it. That's what cars are for, isn't it? <laughs> and such is the age of technology. I just had to uh, agree to the terms and conditions on my sat nav before I could drive the car. Isn't that nuts? And this car was made in 2008. It's 13 years old. That's how deeply the, the technology has got us. <laughs> okay, let's turn the corner into my valley. I don't live in that part of Wales that's called the valleys, but uh, they are valleys and I live in one. South Wales valleys were very industrial until, you know, economics got involved and now they're not so industrial because uh, the whole of UK is much less industrial than it used to be, which um, it's a good thing for the environment in lots of ways, but you know, it knackers people's lives. They can't, they can't earn a crust down there. Uh, this part of Wales is Cardiganshire and we can produce some of the nicest tasting, creamy, lovely milk in the world. And to be quite honest, milk isn't brilliantly good for you. Cow's milk is for cows. I'd rather have soya milk, really. But we used to produce the best milk in the world. And just because so many zillions of people buy milk, you'd think that would be no bad thing. But uh, for some political reason, we stopped doing it. And we, um, we do actually still get our own milk locally, but we don't export it all over the world like we used to. I don't know why that is. But that, that's kind of created a bit of poverty here, which is no good. Okay, let's turn the camera around. You can just kind of see a bit more of what's going on here. So here we are, back at the ranch. Gonna wind it up there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Always great to connect with you. Uh, look out for live videos that are coming up this weekend. Visit the coffee page, leave me a comment. Let's share the journey, let's find out what's going on. Let's see if we can help each other. That's what life should be all about. I know it isn't often, but let's, let's try and kind of keep it that kind of channel. Drop me a comment, we'll, uh, we'll share the journey. And uh, great thumbs up, please, if you've enjoyed this video, that really helps. And hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. More live videos coming up over the weekend. Thanks everyone who's supported me along the way. I uh, hope you'll stick with us because uh, there are more readings and more insights coming in all the time. And I get this stuff, you know, this stuff comes to me as inspiration from my guides. It's not like I know all this stuff all the time. I can't help learn it as I go along, but uh, it's all inspiration, so stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you again in the next one very soon. Love, light, blessings, and peace.